stand around at the departures area at any big city airport and take a look at what's rolling up to drop off VIP these days. Instead of Lincoln Town cars and S-Class Mercs, it's big, hulking SUV like Chevy Suburbans and Cadillac Escalades. Or, if you've done real well in life, perhaps a 2023 Bentley Bentayga Extended Wheelbase. And why not? Sporty driving dynamics certifiably do not matter here. SUV are easier to get in and out of, ride comfier on account of there just being more distance between ass and road. And let their celebre dignitary occupants smugly look down on the unwashed, normie masses. SUV are the new executive limos. There's little doubt about it. So, when Bentley was faced with the task of indirectly replacing the Molson by stretching either the Flying Spur sedan or the Bentayga SUV, but not both, the choice was simple. With all of the extra length happening in the rear row and featuring a new airline seat, the Bentayga EWB Chauffeur Mobile is the Bentley to be driven in. Driving the Bentley Bentayga EW, standing next to one as it started up, the Bentayga comes to life with a refined, restrained, and ultimately quite nice sounding snarl. That 4.0 liter twin turbo V makes 542 horsepower, 568 lbft of torque, and lets the EWB hit 60 mph in 4.5 seconds, 0.1 seconds slower than the lighter, regular length Tega. Car tops out at 180 mph. Nobody is buying an extended length Bentley to go drag racing, though. So when it comes to the much more crucial aspect of highway passing, the big executive hauler will overtake fools all day long with a valiantly smooth demeanor and a muted but mighty bait. Riding in the Bentley Bentega EW, arguably, the entire reason the EWB exists, however, is for the benefit of rear passengers and as a rear passenger, the Bentega EWB is quite rem even before you get to marvel at the sheer space and cosseting toys. However, you're greeted with yet another Bentley first feature, power closing doors. Two switches on the rear center console labeled door close let you do just that without reaching outside and pulling on said door. That shits for poor people. As its premise suggests, the rear quarters of the Bentega EWB are massive. For reference, I'm about 5 foot 7, 5 foot 8 on Tinder and stretching my legs out as far as they could go while keeping my feet flat on the floor. There were several inches of legroom left to spare. Doors and speakers. As complete, competent, and wonderfully luxurious as the Bentega is, it ain't perfect. No car. First off, the soft and automatic close rear doors can be finicky. Those auto close motors mean you can't slam the doors shut, but if you don't close them properly, the soft close function doesn't always work. This resulted in more than one occasion where either my fellow journalist drive partner or I tried to drive off but couldn't because the door wasn't closed properly. Not very cash money. And while the auto door close function is indeed quite novel, I don't love the location Bentley has chosen to place the buns. Instead of putting these somewhere on the center armrest, they're on the center console, which requires bending forward quite a bit, a move that I'm not entirely convinced requires less total physical effort than, you know, just reaching out and closing that rear door without mechanical assistance. Overall, door and speaker related qualms aside, the Bentega EWB is a pretty marvelous, serene as hell to be driven in and solidly buttery to drive. The extended Bentega is the Bentega to get at you ferry rear passengers with any frequency, and now that the Molson is gonna absolutely the Bentley to get if you plan on pairing it with a chauffeur. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.